Hey guys, I'm going to start switching things up. I want to start talking about anime that I really enjoyed and consider my favourites just as I did when I first started this channel. One of them is Kuroko no Basuke. For some of you that haven't seen this anime or do not enjoy sports or haven't picked up a basketball in your life, it doesn't matter. I feel this anime still appeals to everyone as the intensity, story and premise of the generation of miracles will get you enticed from the very start. So if you haven't seen this anime, sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy the video enough to check it out. For those that have seen this show, let's talk about Zone, shall we? Before we even discuss if zone is a real thing in basketball, let's recap what the zone actually is in the anime. Just for ease of purpose, I'm going to refer to the anime as Kuroko's basketball rather than Kuroko no Basuke. The zone in the anime refers to a player's state of mind and performance in which they reach their maximum potential. It is a remarkable amount of concentration and focus a player achieves whilst playing basketball. The conditions to enter the zone varies between each person. The zone is not a superpower or anything like the Sharingan from Naruto, it's actually a state of mind which seems to have a requirement in the anime, such as having an extreme amount of love, passion and talent towards the game. This is why the generation of miracles all unlocked the zone, however Tetsuya Himuro, hopefully I pronounce his name right, he didn't achieve the zone. Aoimine, who is my favourite character by the way, believed himself that Tatsuya Himuro can never cross the gate to the other side. Although multiple people have said he is an equal to the generation of miracles, Kisei did mention that Tatsuya is not skilled enough to enter the zone. So according to Midorima in the anime, only prodigies can use the zone. Even the top players in basketball that are focused without the zone only utilise 80% of their potential during a game. Which to me, even in real life, makes sense. When you are playing basketball, you're not going to give your 100% every game. Life just doesn't work like that unfortunately. We are not always at our peak performance in everything we do. Except I guess they are addressing that in the anime. Prodigies do so more than others. Some people are gifted with a love and passion and natural talent or even genes which make them excel in sports for example. In the anime, the premise of Zone is that you have unwavering passion towards basketball. This requirement also goes with having to meet the user's independent conditions. In most terms, the desperation of winning or the thrive for competition. For example, when Oomine entered the Zone against Kagami, it was the most epic performance ever, right? But because Oomine stated that the only one who can beat me is me, when he finally received a competitor, he entered the zone. Oemine stated that to enter the zone, one must not think of entering the zone, as wavering thoughts will only disrupt the flow of concentration. Kagami in one instance was forcing himself to enter a zone state, but only after completely letting go of the desire for it and played his hardest instead, he entered the state for a second time. Furthermore, as I stated before, when you enter the zone in Kuroko's basketball, the players exceed everything. They start scoring multiple points in quick succession and do everything to perfection. Kinda what we describe as hot hands in basketball in real life. Oamine stated that everyone has different triggers of how they enter the zone, and Kagami's trigger for example is the will to fight for his friends and team. So essentially this again tries to relate back to real life, as in basketball, Every player on that court has their own goals and desires or something that drives them to become who they are. We all have our own stories to tell. Some players such as Michael Jordan said that one thing that inspires him is to be the best, much like Oemine in the anime. The Michael Jordan evolution it always had to start back in college, hitting a shot against Georgetown in 1982 when I really didn't know exactly what I was doing. North Carolina has won the 1982 NCAA championship. It awakened a, a person inside of me uh, to excel, to compete to excel, to be one of the best or be the best. Uh, that drove me. And I guess with that shot, it kind of ignited a fire inside of me that nothing was going to stop me. Jordan, who has it on the break, driving all the way in! 
In fact, Kobe Bryant, one of the best players of all time, described being in the zone whilst playing basketball himself. So the very idea of zone or hot hands is something which is very true to some people that play. When you get in that zone, it's just a supreme confidence that you know it's going in. It's not a matter of if or this, that, it's going in. Things just slow down. You know, everything slows down, you're, you're, you just have supreme confidence. But when that happens, you know, you really do not try to focus on what's going on because out, you, know, you know, you can lose it in a second. Everything becomes one noise. You know, it's not, you don't hear this or that, everything's just one noise. And you're not paying attention to one or the other. You just, you just stand right there. You have to really try to stay in the present, not, you know, not let anything break that rhythm. When get in the zone, you just kind of stay there. You, know, you don't become oblivious to everything that's going on. You know, you don't, you don't think about your surroundings or you know, what's going on with the crowd or the team. So all of these prodigies we have in real life also create these flow states in their minds once they are in game. They have all described that they zone out from reality and focus on the game at hand, paying no attention to anything else. Many of the greats that have stepped foot on that court such as Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant have stated in multiple instances that their passion for basketball, their desire to be the best and their undeniable will to practice over and over again trying to perfect themselves and also wanting to make a difference to the community and people around them is what makes them enter the zone in some games. This is why the zone in Kurokono Basuke is actually a very real thing but just exaggerated to make it entertaining since it's an anime. The zone is a period of time where the person is at peak athleticism and ability. He can move faster, jump faster and pull off moves so effortlessly that nobody can really stop you. Unless your opposition number can enter the zone too, according to the anime anyway. So the argument is yes, if you have ever played sports regularly, you may experience this phenomena for yourself. In the real world, being in the zone has been accepted phrase for when a player is playing at his absolute best. This can happen at any level or indeed in any sport. Even the Akashi team variant of zone is feasible. When you have received the all time best speech or tactics from your coach for example and you work as a team, haven't you guys seen the I am a champion speech by a coach for his American football team? Defeat, retreat, those are not in my words. I don't understand those definitions. I don't understand when things go wrong. I don't understand mistakes. But I do understand this. I understand victory and I understand never surrendering. No matter how bad things go, my heart, my mind will carry my body with my limbs through me. Who am I? I am the champion. How can you not up your game or enter a zone like state after something like that as a team? The rhythm the team can build lifts the entire group's play up significantly and perform better. So examples of a zone like state in real life would be Clay Thompson's record breaking quarter for the Golden State Warriors. Everything clicked and he had hot hands. Thompson was knocking down freeze with the defence scrambling to stop him. He scored 37 points in the third quarter and the most insane thing about this is that he didn't even make a shot till there was only less than 10 minutes in that quarter. Within 6 minutes, Thompson had scored 29 points. They were all back to back shots, he didn't even miss one shot, which is mind blowing. That is something Kuroko's basketball type shit right there. That is some anime stuff that we literally saw in real life. And to be honest, although you may think this is a rare occasion to witness someone be in the zone, a lot of people have shown this anime-esque powers in basketball. Kobe Bryant for example scored 81 points in 2006 for the Lakers which means he scored 66% of the points out of the 122 points that were scored in that game. It's also the second highest individual scoring performance in the NBA history. If that's not someone being in the zone then I don't know what is. So the key thing to remember is that the creator of Kuroko's basketball, the anime, he studied all these players and the NBA too when he visited America to make the anime we love watching. 
So overall, is the zone real from Kuroko's basketball in the anime? Well to be honest, it's argued till this day. In real life you could come across three terms, people either say flow state, hot hands or the zone. Hot hands is a topic in basketball which has been ongoing for years and it's either agreed that it's a real thing via research and experience or debunked later on that it's not. It's always debated whether or not a basketball player percentage of scoring points increases as they take more shots for example. In 1985, a hugely influential study called the Hot Hand Basketball on the Misconception by Random Sequences by a trio of psychologists argued that the hot hand was a myth. Among NBA and college players that they studied, hitting one shot made no difference in their odds of hitting the next shot. Like coin tosses in real life, players were subject to the laws of probability with the same baseline percentage chance of hitting every shot. So essentially in anime terms, what they're trying to say is that the zone part of the anime and in real life where the shooters always score points is just random. However, in recent years, a handful of studies published over the past few years, they suggested that basketball players, pro bowlers and volleyball players can indeed heat up, boosting their normal accuracy rates by several percentage points for longer stretches of play than you'd expect from chance. A new study published in June 2015 found one of the strongest pieces of evidence for the hot hand yet. The researchers looked at 29 years worth of data from the NBA 3 point shooting contest and found that players who hit 3 or more shots in a row had a 6.3% higher chance of hitting the next one compared with their baseline rate. However, me personally, I believe it's more to do with mentality, much like what the anime displays and what people do in real life describe. Human mentality in shooting hoops isn't flipping coins. It's not random, it's only random over a long period of time with statistics, but in the moment it's something else, you're playing with your friends and team and you want to win the game. The second explanation of zone in the anime and to be honest the way Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan and LeBron James describe it, it's flow state. The zone in Kuroko's basketball in the anime pretty much exaggerates everything to entertain us right and it does a damn good job at it. But the flow state in psychology is the mental state of operation in which a person's performing an activity such as basketball is fully immersed in feeling of energized focus, involvement and enjoyment of what the task is. It results in the loss of the person in this zone like state of sense of space and time much like the saying time flies whilst you're having fun. That's why Kobe Bryant said that when he's in the zone and when he's thinking about the game he can't think of anything else, he doesn't let anything come to him because he's thinking about basketball. The flow state has been described by Csikszentmihalyi as the optimal experience in that one person is getting a high level of gratification from their experience. Achieving this experience is considered to be personal and depends on the ability of the individual, just like how Kurokuna Basket describes it. One's capacity and desire to overcome challenges in order to achieve their ultimate goals not only leads to this optimal experience but also to a sense of life satisfaction overall. So pretty much what Kobe Bryant, LeBron James and their mental state and attitude towards basketball whilst playing their best pretty much defines what the zone we see in the anime of Kuroko no Basuke is. Since all the conditions are met, love for the sport, ability and skill as well as being competitive, these prodigies in real life actually make the zone we see in the anime seem real. So yes, the zone we do see in the anime is real to me and that depends on your experience. That just sums up the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below, do you think the zone is real, have you ever experienced it? And remember to smash the like button, notification bell as I can do more videos on this anime if this performs well. And you know, check out our social media and I'll see you guys next time as always.